There is a new way to write React code 10 times faster and easier than ever before. So in this video I'm going to reveal what the simple new way is, how any level of developer can easily use it to create React components fast and effortlessly without falling behind. So what is this new way then? Well, imagine that you have a requirements list of features for a React component from a product owner, your teacher or you are just working on a hobby project that you have listed features you would like it to have. Taking those requirements and turning them into a React component takes time. It can also be tedious, especially if you want to just prototype your idea or make a quick first draft of your application. Thankfully, there is now a faster way to turn your requirements list to code than typing out the code yourself manually. You can now use a new AI-powered tool called we0.dev to generate React components based on your instructions. It will generate the JSX code for your component so you quickly get the UI ready. All you have to do is paste in your requirements list or describe the component you want and we0 will generate a React component based on those instructions. And if you are not satisfied for the component it generates, you can then tweak it by just giving it further instructions and it will modify the component accordingly. But this is just a scratch to the surface on what we can do using V0. There is another even more impressive feature that will save you tons of time and effort. But before we go into that, let's see how to actually use the code that V0 generates. So once you are satisfied with your component, you can then copy paste the code to your project or you can even install that component using npx. The code it generates uses ZCM UI and Tailwind CSS, so make sure you have those added as dependencies to your application when using the components V0 generates. Even though creating React component out of bullet points is impressive, that is just the beginning. There is another even more mind-blowing feature that the pros are using to stand out and get amazing results. And if you aren't using it, you are literally missing out big time. It is something I actually used when I started to work on a new project just the other day. What I wanted to do was to create a Twitter clone. I first thought of making the UI traditionally, so basically writing it by myself, but then quickly realized that maybe I could actually use this other V0 feature to help me hit the ground running. So instead of starting to write the Twitter clone from scratch, I actually took a screenshot of my own Twitter profile page and pasted that screenshot to V0 and hit enter. Yeah, that's right, you can generate UIs from screenshots too. So as a result, I got three versions of that screenshot as React components and I was pretty satisfied with the results and didn't need to make any tweaks. So I just copy pasted the code to my project and that was it. So in minutes, I had a rough initial UI ready and I was able to start working on the business logic of the application. But this got me thinking, how well could it handle a hand-drawn viral frame? Well, there was only one way to find out. So I whipped out my pen and paper and drew a simple version of this kind of a product page. I added an image, some description for the product and add to cart button. I also added a review section with a couple of reviews and a post review form. I then took a picture of it and uploaded it to V0 and hit generate. The results were not perfect but definitely exceeded my expectations by far because with just a little bit of tweaking I got the component to actually look pretty good. So not only can V0 generate a UI from a screenshot but apparently also you can use it to create UIs from a simple handwritten wireframe. Using V0 gives you kind of super powers but it should only be one tool in your arsenal. I just started my brand new newsletter where I share more tips and things like this so you get more tools to your arsenal and I also share content that I don't talk about anywhere else. So if you are interested, click the link in the description to sign up. 